Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a uh, Band on the Run by the Foo Fighters. I'm going to do this version. It's a little more guitar oriented. So, uh, a little more guitar friendly. So let's dig right into this. This might be uh, a bit of a long video. There's a lot of parts to this. But definitely worth learning. Really, really cool tune. I got a look for the intro. I just made a little loop track. And I'll play the intro and then we'll go over it. Under, underneath here that you're playing. You're playing a D major 7. I'll put up some chord diagrams for this. Now there's a bunch of ways you can play this chord but I'm just gonna play in the open position because it sounds like acoustic guitar in the background and that's probably and it sounds like that's where it's being played. So I'm, a, I'm not gonna go over the, the chords here. I'm just gonna put them up there, check out the chord diagram, learn the chords. You're basically going from a, a D major 7 to a G6. Now you can, a bunch of ways you can play the G6, but make sure that open E string rings, that's the 6, that's what makes it a G6. So start off with a, a pickup measure. And all that is, is before the band comes in, you got this little riff. Now I'm going to put the tab up for this, so I'm not going to go into where the fingering is. So you just look at the tab, and I'll play this slow. Starting on a 10th fret, you're going to slide. It's a quick slide. You're going to do the same motion. Starting from the 10th fret, you're going to do it at the 5th fret. And then you're going to land on the D major 7 playing the, the C sharp and the F, F sharp there. You got the seventh and the third. And this idea, playing these dyads, meaning two notes at the same time, it's common. I mean, very common, especially R&B, listen to Jimi Hendrix. I mean, you can go on and on and on. So it's definitely something you want to look at. And it's a kind of a horizontal way of looking at the fretboard. And um, you can come up with some really cool riffs and ideas. Okay, I'm done rambling. Here we go. Then you're gonna play a D major 6 and it's a D major 6 because you got the E in there. You can think of it as a D major 7 slash 6 because you got the 7th in there too. I'll call it a D major 6 and I'm gonna put that chord up there. And all you're going to do is play the chord, and you can use your pinky, or you can use your third, your ring finger, whatever. And you're just going to simulate, well for the Foo Fighters it sounds like it's a slide guitar going there. I think the original version, Paul McCartney, there was um, keyboards or something, I, I don't remember. But, um, let's see. Then you're going to play. Just gonna hit the 15th fret and you're gonna slide to the 14th. And you could go to the 10th fret. And you're gonna land right on that G6. Then you're gonna play, I'll put up the chord diagram. Then you're gonna go back into like you did with the pickup verse or pickup measure. Back to the D6. Oops. Same thing we played already. And here's where it changes slightly. You're going to play the 15th fret, check out the tab. Pull off. Slide. Now 
Now the chords where you're playing underneath here, you're going to a G minor now. You're going from a D major 7 to a G minor. So this would be the D major 7. Then you're going to go to the G minor. You've got that B flat. You've got the E in there. And you got the root in the fifth. And it just goes into the the intro to the D major seven. Okay, um, that's about it for the intro. Just take it slow. Try to you know keep it clean. Work it up to speed. Um, also, be aware of what you're playing. Like you know, you don't just learn riffs. Uh, you know, you want to know what chords you're playing underneath. It's pretty important. You need to know why you're playing what you're playing. I mean, uh, you just can't play this riff if you're playing, you know, E to C sharp or something. You know, there's a reason why uh, you're playing what you're playing under these chords. And it's a style, you know. I mean, if you, you listen to something and uh, you're writing your own music or something and you get this idea in your head and um, you can kind of figure out what the heck it is you're thinking about and, tran and transpose it to the guitar. At least that's what I do. I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of people do that. But take it slow, and um, we'll go on to the next part. Okay, so now we're going to go into. Um, we're still kind of in an intro, intro verse, call it whatever you want. But we've already gone over this. This is um, a D major seven to a G six, and um, you're just basically playing. <laughs> simple just play the chords let them ring I mean, you could, I mean you could add a little to it if you want just really soft kind of a quiet kind of feel to it and you're just gonna go back and forth to that D major 7 to G6 and you'll get then you get to one other part and all it is is a that is is D major 7 to G minor similar to what we played in the intro when it went to the G minor and um, you're gonna play that D major 7 to G minor three times and then we're gonna go into the next part okay going into the next part so a bit of a volume swell when you when you hit that G minor the last time, you hear it come in. So it'll sound something like this. And all that is, and now you're playing kind of like under an A minor. Um, a C major uh, feel. It has a bit of a, a key change. Well, it does have a key change. So, you got it. You're going to hit it three times and slide to the B. Uh, this is all on a third string, by the way. So you got, you're going from the fifth fret to the fourth. You're going to hit the uh, B twice, fourth fret uh, twice. And you're going to hit the A three times. Now there's two guitars going there. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do this just for one guitar. Um, by the way, it's going from A minor to D. The chord you're playing under here that was under A minor. Now we're gonna go to the D chord. Oh man, wait, hold on a second. Let me listen to this. <laughs> Three times. You're gonna hit it, two, hit it five times total, and the fifth time you're gonna slide to the B. So you got. It. Uh, 
Um, that part. You're going to hammer. This is all on a third string, by the way. You're going to hammer from the fourth fret to the fifth fret. And then you're going to pick it. Then you're going to pull off. And you're going to play the B twice. After the pull off. And then hit the A twice. So you got... And that's basically it. The rhythms, um... Okay, so you're basically just going from A to D. Now you can play, um... You could add the A in the bass on the D chord. Um, the Foo Fighters, you know, it's a pretty common idea they do it in all their songs. So it sounds something like... And, um... It's like... It's like you're going to hit the A chord, then you're going to do two uh, percussive mutes, then hit the A chord again. And just hit two percussive mutes, A chord, two percussive mutes, A chord. Then you're going to hit the G, six string, third fret. You're going to kind of give it a slight bend. Then you're going to go right to the D chord. Like I said, you can throw the A in the bass if you want, or you can just play a straight. Hit that G, back to the A. And um, that's basically uh, the chords. Now we're going to get into um, a fun part. I tabbed this out so I wouldn't have to explain it because it's, it's just too difficult to try to explain it. Um, it's so much easier to just look at the music and I'll play it and then you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to get this. Okay, let's uh, break this part down here. Best way to do it is, like, to do anything is to start off slow. Get it in your head first. Know what you're doing before you do it. It's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and E, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and E, one, two, Take it slow, if you, you know, just slow the, the tempo down, or you can even go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and E, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and E, one, two, three, four, and one. Um, however, it makes it easy for you until you can get it up to speed, where it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and E, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and E, one, two, three, four. Now, the, um, if you look on the, um, the music, the tab, I have the notes there also, the rhythm. It's an eighth note triplet. It's one, two, three. That equals one beat. So you got three beats of sixteenth notes, one beat of eighth note triplets, and then you're going to hit the A on the one. Uh, you're playing the octaves. I don't know what kind of advice I can give on this. It's a little, um, you got to take it slow. If you're having a problem getting it up to speed, to keep the 16th notes going, change it. Um, it there's no rule, or, or maybe just playing one note. Maybe that's easier. Instead of doing the octaves, just play one note. Um, 
but there's always a way around a part if there's a part that's giving you a problem or or um, maybe if you got a gig and you didn't learn a damn song and you, you know there's a part you got to kind of get through it you know just simplify it that's all and if you can't do the 16th notes maybe you can do like play eighth notes you know or something like that but don't let one part of a song you know steer you away from learning it there's a lot of good if I did that there would be a lot of songs a lot of stuff I, I would have never learned if I would have done that so just keep hacking away at it okay on to the next part I'm rambling okay let's go into um, the verse <laughs> Pretty simple, I already showed this part. It's the same thing we played uh, before we went, uh, what was being played underneath the... That part, same thing. Okay, I don't want to let the music go too long because they give you some copyright thing or whatever, I don't know. So I'm just going to play little bits and pieces of it. So that's basically it. We're going to go into the next part. Okay, going to the next part. Okay, I got the tab for this. So just go ahead and uh, check it out. I'm playing a D with the A in the bass. You don't have to do that. You can simply play a, C, uh, a D to a C. Okay, yeah, it's just... Um, You're playing the 3rd uh, string, 5th fret C, along with 2nd string, 5th fret E. Do kind of a partial mute, or you can... And then you're just going to add the F. You're going to replace the E with the F. It'll give you a, like an F chord. So you would have the, um, the C and the 2nd string, 6th fret, F. So it's... And then he goes into the verse. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chords up there so that you know what I'm playing, but it's basically... minor and you can play an A just don't play the third that's all play A no third so you got like um now here you're playing an F chord and you're just playing the open E along with the F. Gives it like an F major 7 type sound. And um, 
when it goes into the uh, chorus. That's basically it. Like I said, I'll have the chords up there. Just uh, play along uh, to the record, listen to the rhythm the way I played it. And you should be good to go. Okay, going into the chorus. Where do we go here? You just got C to an F. And then the F. Another Foo Fighter he does this in a lot of songs. Playing the C power chord. And then you're just gonna play third string F, fourth uh, or third fret, fourth string, third string, fifth fret G. Or C rather on the G string and second string sixth fret F common yeah I mean it's used in all kinds all types of songs um, but that's basically it it's like Uh, e minor. I'm gonna try to do this fast because this is gonna be a long video if I don't if I don't keep it moving. That's why I put the tabs up there. But um, that's basically it. So we'll continue on. Okay, during the course, the second time around, there's a little riff. Okay. You're gonna play the C. Um, the way I play it is I'm playing a C, then I'm doing two percussive mutes, then I'm going to hit the C again. So it's like... And I'm going to slide from the um, second string now, the A fret to the 10th fret, G to A. Back to the G. Then I'm going to play the third string, 9th fret, E. to the uh, G, second string, eighth fret. So it's like... <laughs> Let me try that again. You're going to play it... How many times? Is it? Okay. And then you got, which is E, G, C. I'm adding the nine on the C. I'm adding the second string, third fret D. So it's like, in fact, when I play the G, I already got my um, third finger on the second fret D, I'm playing the D. I'm playing it with it, so it's like... So I just move one finger. And it goes... E, C, A. And my battery's gonna be running out soon. Oh boy, okay. So, uh, where are we at? Yeah, that ought to, that ought to cover.
could play it like that too. Maybe that'd be easier. Bend. G to A. Back to G. To E. Back to G. Play it either way, it doesn't matter. In fact, you could... As long as it sounds something similar, because I, I believe the way the Foo Fighters is doing it isn't exactly the way Paul McCartney and the Wings did it. So, you know, you put your own little touch on everything. But, um, okay. Uh, continue on for as long as I can here. Okay, the guitar solo. Guitar solo. Starting on the C, same as the uh, the riff we were playing. Play it four times, you know, however many times, just as long as you're you're landing on the notes at the right time, it's really all that matters. So you're gonna play the C four times, and you're gonna play the G on a second string, eighth fret, bend up to A. And you're going to release back to G. Then you're going to slide from 3rd string, 7th fret, D to E. Then you're going to play the G twice. Back to the 3rd string, 9th fret, E. Bend that G to A, release back to G again. Then you're going to bend the G to an A. And you're going to kind of hold it slightly. Bend to A, to G, to E. You pick an E, you pick that one or that one, either one. And then you're going to slide, or I'm going to slide, from the 5th fret, 2nd string E to G. Then it goes. You, if you're going to one guitar, you can go. Yeah, that's, that's about it. You're going to just play the guitar solo, then you're going to play the chorus part with the little riff, and then you're going to go back into the verse. Okay, little variation. that just about covers the whole song. I had to run through this because uh, my battery's dying and I didn't want to turn this into a half hour video. But um, that's basically basically all the parts. Take your time with it. It's, there's a lot of parts to it. There's some timing things going on there. There's measures that are 2-4. You know, not an easy song. You really, I mean, you, you gotta really sit down with it and you're gonna have to uh, 
If you don't know the song, listen to it a bunch of times so you really get it in your head. Um, but once you get it there, you know, none of the guitar solos are hard, none of the riffs are hard. It's just knowing the song. It's knowing where the breaks are and little variations on some parts. But uh, a great song. Uh, Foo Fighters did an awesome job on this. They really, I mean, a lot of the stuff that, that I showed you here are cliche type Foo Fighter ideas. They're in all, almost all their songs. You know, um, the only difference is they didn't do it in Drop D. <laughs> Which I'm a little surprised at. Cause, but anyway, that's about it. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe and um, like the video and that'd be great. And uh, I'm out of here. Adios.